Got a new computer lately? What about your other one? You know, the one that you bought just a few years ago? Not using it? Not sure what to do with it? Pass it on. Today, technology is advancing so rapidly that some of us want to replace our computers just two to three years after buying them. Yet these computers were built to last much longer. By passing them on, we can give more people access to technology while protecting our shared environment. As innovation in our industry continues to deliver exciting new technology, studies have shown that there are a growing number of older computers out there in good working order that are no longer being used. You may wonder, who would want older PCs, laptops, or servers? Well, some organizations actually use older equipment because they don't have the time or money to upgrade to faster, newer technology, or they use it as part of their disaster recovery plans. We can bring them here and recycle them and um, sell them again to people who really need them. I encourage you to reuse by donating your computer system to a worthy cause when you're finished using it. This helps us conserve energy and materials, helps keep working computers out of landfills. Many people are also moving to flat screen LCDs because they take up less desktop space and use less energy than older CRT monitors. Often, these CRT monitors are still in fine working condition and we can help conserve natural resources by passing them on. Reusing PCs reduces the demand for raw materials and lessens the volume of waste generated. The use and recycling of computer technology benefits all of us. We provide a service to companies um, to be able to donate their computers rather than the computers ending up in the landfill. They're donated to Goodwill for reusable purposes and sometimes for recycling. Here's how individuals and companies can help. Step one. Can someone else use your computer? Often, PC systems up to four to five years old can be very useful to another family or organization when properly reused or refurbished. A great example of this is Intel's Students Recycling Use Technology, or STRUT program, where students recondition older PCs for new lives in the classroom. Step two. If it's below Pentium PC or Mac power level, you should recycle it instead. Select the recipient of your donation. Step three. Schools and charities generally prefer to receive equipment that has been checked out by a national clearinghouse or that has been upgraded by a refurbisher who will then pass on ready-to-use equipment prior to donating. Remember to pass on the operating system software as well. Microsoft licensing agreements require that the software stay with the original machine in which it was installed. Include accessories such as the keyboard and mouse and any original documentation that came with the machine. Finally, Find out if the organization educates the next user of your donated computer about their recycling options. It's a way to ensure that the cycle continues. Step four. Take back and leasing options. If you are a business, ask about leasing options that incorporate take back for reuse and recycling. Step five. Clearing personal data. Deleting something from your computer, emptying your computer's recycle bin, or reformatting your hard drive aren't enough to make sure your information is completely erased. If you decide to clean your computer yourself, you can purchase software or obtain them for free at shareware sites. If you would rather leave the data cleansing to a professional, ask your refurbisher if they have a process to clear data using software that follows U.S. Department of Defense guidelines. Visit www.epa.gov slash pass it on to learn more about these steps. Dell is proud of our relationship with the National Christina Foundation that lets any consumer donate working used computers to nonprofit organizations. And through our techno program, computers are repurposed and donated to schools so that underserved students can learn valuable skills and help them succeed in the digital economy. Through a partnership with Strut, Philips donates used computer equipment for teaching high-tech skills in technology courses in local schools. NEC and our partners help facilitate the refurbishment of previously deployed, still functioning displays 
and coordinate their redistribution to organizations like school districts and community centers across the country. One of these partners is Computers for Schools, which is dedicated to providing low-cost technology alternatives in classrooms. HP supports a variety of ways for people to reduce environmental impacts by extending the useful life of computing and printing equipment. Through our community-based partnerships in the U.S., we help people donate their qualified used equipment to charitable organizations such as the National Christina Foundation and Computers for Schools. Um, it's cool because you get to touch the computers and fix them ourselves. And plus, by reusing them, we're helping the environment. This is the class I look most forward to because I really like computers. When you're finished using a computer, donate it. Reuse and recycle your IT equipment. Remember to help others and help the environment. So take that computer or laptop that's sitting there waiting to be used and pass it on. Go to www.epa.gov slash pass it on to learn more about reuse.